Pre-calc, welcome to your class. It is the, let's see, 2-2 Groundhog Day, 2-2 edition, 2-2-16 edition. So, our topic today is more factorials and plus more factorials plus summation notation plus summation ha -ha, notation. All right. Yesterday I introduced or reintroduced to you factorials, which were very exciting. So say for example, we have 8 factorial. And let's bring it in a little closer. All right, 8 factorial. And we learned that that would be 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And uh, today I'm going to look at a division. So I have 8 factorial in the numerator and 2 factorial times 6 factorial in the denominator. I want to show a quick method instead of writing out and calculating 8 times 7 times 6 all the way to 1 and then 2 times 1 and then 6 times 5 times 4 all the way down to 1. I have another idea and that is I'm going to start with my um, factorial here. I'm going to go 8 times 7 times 6, but keeping an eye on the bottom here, I'm going to stop here and just put a factorial. Because is not, isn't that 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1? So I am saying that 8 factorial is the same as 8 times 7 times 6 factorial. So I stopped there because I saw this was on the bottom. So I can cancel out factorials that are equal. And I have on the top 2 factorials is, is 2 times 1, which is just 2. So I can actually drop the factorial. And I have 56 over 2, which gives me a 28. So that method can get the answer quickly. So let's see if you can try one. 2 factorial, 6 factorial, and on the bottom 3 factorial, 5 factorial. See if you can do a similar thing to what I just did. Alright, uh, hopefully you're working ahead of me. So I'm going to go 2, 2 factorial is 2, times 6 times 5 factorial. So now I'm going to go 3 times 2 times 1. I don't have to write the times 1. And I have a 5 factorial. These cancel. 3, two, three times 2 is 6, so that will cancel. And I get a 2. So hopefully you beat me to, to the 2. All right. The last one in factorial land is n factorial over n minus 1 factorial. So here I'm not told what the number is, but I know that n factorial is n times what? n minus 1. Didn't we change 6 factorial to 6 times five, 6 minus 1 is 5 factorial? So I'm going to do a similar thing. I'm going to start with n and multiply it times n minus 1 factorial. Keeping an eye on the prize here, I'll stop there. And I get an n. So that little trick will help you tomorrow. All right, so that's all. I didn't have take time to do that on factorials yesterday, so now I want to complete our lesson tonight with summation notation. Summation means adding things. So it reminded me about what the old time um, the old time adding machines looked like. So I'll show you what one looks like right there. 
So I kind of like this because you plugged in the numbers. There's no display, so you have to know what numbers you're plugging in. And then you crank this handle down when you're ready to, uh, to actually add the numbers. So I thought that was cool. Would you like to hear what it sounds like? See if I can... Ah! I just tipped you over. Uh, let's get you back here. All right, let's see if we can find out what it sounds like. Here's one, let's see if this sounds good. And here we have yep, that's not an it. early 70s, maybe late 60s facet adding machine. As you can see, there's actually no display whatsoever, so this is not you what need I to wanted. actually know what you're typing. And here it is. Well, let's try this thing out. Cool clicking. So they didn't have the handle to pull down. They had the big button to push. And here's the code. And there yep. it is. That's totally works. summation. All right, let me see if I can find what I was looking for. Maybe this is it. Just listen. That's it. So you can hear that handle being pulled. Okay. <laughs> Well, you're going to be the adding machine tonight, so feel free to make all the noise you want. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to look at summation notation. Summation notation looks like this. It's the Greek sigma. And when it has that, it, uh, it is with it is an index. And it's called the index of summation. A lot of times we like to use small i. It, you'll see other things as well. And it is going to have a lower limit of the summation. So we're going to start our summation at 1 in this example. And at the top is a number that tells you where we're going to stop. Beginning, end, summing. That means every time we pass through this iteration, we're going to add the next thing. So now we need a typical element. So in this problem, 3i. What does this mean? We will take i and replace it with a 1. When we do that, we get 3 times 1. So the first iteration is complete, and then we add. So now we put in the next iteration. Then after 1 comes 2. So we put a 2 in for i, and then we add the next one. So we put in a 3, then we put in a 4, and then we put in the last one that's indicated by what's on top, we put in the 5. So when we substitute in the 5, we are finished. When we add those all up, I believe this comes out to... That come out to 45. Forgive me if I am wrong. You can tell me about it tomorrow. All right. Let's do another summation. This time I'll use as my summation. My index of summation is a K, and I'm going to start at three and end at six. So the typical element is one plus K squared. When I do this, I put in first, I start at 3 this time, so I be, the k becomes a 3 plus. That's understood because this is a summation of all the terms. Then it increments, increments to 4, where I get 1 plus 4 squared, so 4 went in for k. And now 5. And lastly, the last one to go in is a 6. Okay, so what do we have here? This is a 10, a 17, a 26, and a 
37. I believe that is a 90. All right, so that's the answer to that one. All right, let's look at one that has factorials in our summation. One, we'll, we'll start out with the, the uh, index is i this time. It's going to go from 0 to 8. And the typical element is 1 over i factorial. So how cool is that? So we start out with a 0 plus 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 I think this one's going to be fractional. <laughs> All right, you recall from our previous lesson, zero factorial is one. We get one again, then a half, plus, uh, remember, three times two times one is a sixth. This is 24. This is 120. This is 720. And this is 50,000. No, it's not. It's 4,000. I mean, it's 5,000. <laughs> 5,040 is what I'm trying to say. So we add all that up, it actually comes to 2.718. Anyone recognize that number? If we took this uh, progression out further, went to say 100 or 1,000, it would become closer and closer. This is the irrational number E. How cool is that? All right. All right, the only other thing I want to mention tonight is what we've seen so far in these examples where we had a stopping point. We call all of these, um, we call these finite, finite. And when there is a plus sign in between the elements, it's called a series. So this is a finite series. That's what we've been looking at. Sometimes we call it the nth partial sum when we start say from with from 1 to 5 we would say this was the fifth partial sum so that's another way of saying saying it I just want you to know before I go that I could start from 1 and go to infinity it could do that and so let's do one that's infinite and of course this is an infinite series infinite series and we'll do 3 over 10 raised to the i so that's an exponent so when I do that I have an infinite series because uh, we're going to go forever so let's take a look at a lot of the elements so 1 over 10 to the 1 plus 1 over 10 to the 2, plus 1 over 10 to the 3, I'm not, I'm sorry, not 1, there's a 3 in this typical element, sorry about that, 3 over 10 to the 4, and so on. So, when we change that to a decimal, 3 tenths looks like this, 3 hundredths looks like this, 3 thousandths look like this, and that's not true. <laughs> Messing up on this one. Sorry. 3 hundredths looks like this. Three thousandths looks like this. This is more like it. Three ten thousandths looks like this. So you can see we're going to continue on such a pattern. And if we were to add these all up, if we were going to add them all up, we would get 0.33333 and so on, which is